the uh, do also have this is the second auxiliary have it also has what has a three cases for the uh, have if we come to the verb have so when we say again when we say have mean we have what means we have also has and what we have also had had for the past and has and have for the present have in case of I, I or you for the plural or you, uh, we and has for the third person singular. Again, the same thing with do. With do. So if it is, uh, it can be used as what? As auxiliary. So for example, in case of what? In case of perfective. In case of perfective, for example, the, we can say, the team have or has, both correct, the team has prepared for the, for example, the match. See, the team have, have prepared, have here as what? As auxiliary. Or we can say the baby, for example, has, say, drunk. We say his or her, no, both was correct. Again, has. So in this case, when we use has, or have, or even had, in the past perfect, in this case, we consider has or have as what? As auxiliary. We use it in case of perfective. Or the same verb, which is have, we can use it where? As a lexical or main verb. Lexical or main verb. So in this case, we use it alone. So here we use it alone, for example, either in case of position, uh, remember, we said position means el mulkiya. It expresses uh, to possess something, or no, as uh, as any other uh, verb. So, if it is as a lexical verb, again, it has five forms of conjugation. Conjugation means tasrif al fa'il. So, conjugation means we have a base. Again, we have s form, we have ing form, we have ed one for the uh, past and D2, ed two for the past participle. So, for example, for the base, we have what? We have have. For the uh, S form, we have has. And for the ING, we have having. See, because it ends with E. So, with E, so we change I into direct. We say, we say having. And we say had. And for the, uh, for the past participle, we use had. So, have, has, having had and had. So here we use it as what? As, uh, as a main verb. Let's say, for example, the dogs, let's say, the dogs, uh, the dogs are having, for example, their food. Are having their food. So here means what? Having. Having means here the dogs are having. Having in this case means what? Means eating or eat. So have has a meaning as a lexical verb. Or we have, for example, we say the boxer, for example, for the boxer, for example, uh, uh, is having, for example, a shower. The boxer is having a shower. Here means taking, means swimming, swimming, or say taking. Or we say, for example, the students are having their exam, means writing the exam. So then again, as we have the, uh, for the uh, verb do, or this, the did or does also, we have the same thing, can be uh, lexical or can be as a main verb. If it is uh, uh, auxiliary, it, you, we use it in the case of perfective. In case of perfectives. Means why perfectives in plural? Why? Because it could be in the present perfect, in the past perfect, and in the future perfect. Or we can use it as a lexical, main verb. In this case, what we can use as has, have, having, had, and had. Uh, finally, uh, the last verb, we have what? The verb be. The verb be. In this case, this verb is the only verb in English that 
has eight forms. We know that all verbs in English have five forms. But this verb, be, has what? Has eight forms. Why eight forms? Because either we have the be in case of the uh, base or the present. We have either is or are or what? Or am. In case of ing form, so we have being in the ed1, mean past, we have was or were. And in the past participle, ed2, real past participle, can be what? Can be, let's say, uh, being. See, we have one and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we have for uh, B, we have eight forms. Mostly we use B as what? As, uh, as uh, mostly we use it as auxiliary. Of course, we use, for, the, for example, in case of continuous. Continuous. For example, they are, say, for example, they are driving, they are driving fast. See, we use the verb uh, are. Or the, for example, the lecture is being, for example, delivered. Is being delivered. See, being. And the main verb is what? The main verb is deliver. And the verb, main verb is uh, drive. Also with other these verbs, whether uh, we have been, we use it in, the, in case of uh, the passive. So then, mostly we use this in, in case of uh, continuous. In certain cases, we use be as a main verb, as a main verb. Uh, mostly this is what we call in case of uh, vocative. So for example, or command, let's say for example, we say be careful. So when we say be careful, as you see, we use this be alone. What is the evidence Dalil, that this is the uh, main? Because in case we, was, uh, we want to negate this, uh, let's say order or command, we say don't. Don't be, for example, care, careless, not careful. Don't be careless. So this is don't for negation as auxiliary, and this is be for what? For uh, as a main verb. Or to say be brave. Say, be brave. And in case of negation, we say what? We say, for example, don't. Don't be a brave. So this is don't, the do, for the uh, negation, and be as what? As a main verb. But this is, the, this case is very limited. But mostly we use it as a continuous, or we use it alone. And this case can be considered. For example, we can say, uh, my brother, for example, my brother is, uh, let's say, carpenter. My brother is carpenter. So, is here we use it alone without, without addition anything. So, it can, it can be uh, considered uh, uh, as uh, the only verb in the sentence. Of course, and we can change into the past. We say, my brother was a carpenter. Or we can change it to the future and say, my brother will be a carpenter. So these are the cases in which uh, we uh, have uh, the verb be. Uh, I hope the uh, lecture is uh, clear and easy. In case any question, I'm ready to answer it.